Okay, uh, we're back at the cabin here. Uh, just wanted to make a quick video here and uh, show the few updates that we've done to the cabin since uh, we got it built back in the fall. Uh, you can see right now that we uh, put that synthetic roof wrap on the outside, uh, drew it tight, stapled it all. It's held nice so far through the winter. Uh, it should hold just fine till we get our uh, steel siding on late winter, early this spring. You can see the front of the cabin, uh, we got the, our little wood stove in now. Uh, the pipe you see going through the wall there, that is a double wall, three inch insulated pipe. Uh, then finished off with uh, the black three inch pipe for the top above the roof line. Go for a little walk here around the cabin. I did want to take a minute and uh, show you here for our overhang, we went with a good 18 inch overhang. Uh, that'll get all the snow, all the rain, well away uh, from the base of the cabin. Helps uh, prolong the life of your cabin. Uh, just a 40 by 24 inch window there that we put in. And you can see, uh, Around here, all around the cabin, it's just uh, thick with cedar, spruce, and tamarack. Uh, provides for a really good windbreak. All around here is all uh, like this pine or tamarack or cedar. So we don't get a lot of wind here in the woods. Uh, so that's nice. I'll show you here. Uh, we got a good six plus inch overhang on each gable end as well. Once again, just to keep all the weather off the cabin. All right. Uh, Let's head, head in the cabin and take a look around. Okay, so like I said before, uh, this is a 10 by 12 cabin, uh, a full eight foot sidewall. And you can see here, uh, we put a loft in, the loft sits at seven foot the top of the loft is at seven foot so it's dropped down one foot to allow for overhead five foot of head space above and even with a two by six you still have six and a half feet of headroom down below well, excuse the mess here we are just finishing up doing insulation uh that's our food preparation table we've been staying here for the weekend uh getting all the work done here Okay, here's our guide gear wood stove that we put in. Uh, we got three sections of the black pipe. Then, like I said outside, we go to the three inch double wall insulated pipe to go through the wall. And we used a thimble there uh, to go through the wall. You see we have a little bit of cement board here. Don't worry, uh, we will be finishing this whole corner in cement board all the way up. This is just where we got to right now uh, with putting the insulation in and just start getting the cement board back up. That'll be uh, the next trip project. This is our staircase going up to the loft. All right, let's take a walk up there. Okay, so here's the loft, like I said, uh, well over five foot of headroom. I'm five foot nine, you sit in that chair and uh, you still have uh, plenty of headroom above you. We got room for two beds with room in between. I might've mentioned it before, but the loft is eight foot by 10 foot. 
Uh, we will be putting a window in this back wall before we do the steel siding. That's a project, once again, for probably springtime. We're not going to cut into the cabin during, during the winter. Uh, we'll save that for the spring when we're ready to do the steel siding. All right, here's our view out of the cabin window. Pretty nice little view. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. So uh, we'll leave the video right now, right there. And I uh, thank you for watching. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.